Um, you know, like Marilyn, I've always been um, a writer. I was a writing all the time, even when I was a kid. Um, I love to make up stories, and I would do it just for me, for my own satisfaction. I know a lot of it. It really was therapeutic. You know, you're working stuff out on paper. I used to come home from school and write, um, fill a couple of pages just as quickly as I could, and then go out to play. Um, and like Marilyn, I had these teachers that would let me actually read my writing to the class, which you do wonder, did they even really appreciate it? I'm sure they did not. But um, well, you talk about making you making a person a writer because suddenly you're thinking about audience. You know, here I am, fourth grade. I'm thinking about um, an audience because, gosh, I'm going to read this to my classmates. Um, I can't say I ever thought I was actually going to be a writer. I don't think I even thought of it as a career at all. I went to school, went to college, majored in history. Um, I see the connection now because history is just really one big, long, great adventure story, but I didn't see it at the time. Um, and then when I got out of college, um, I worked for um, a historical society here in Chicago briefly. I worked for an insurance company briefly. Um, I had children of my own, um, and my second son was, was born with a heart defect, and so um, I had to retire from working full time. So I was home with him, and I needed something. just something for myself besides being somebody's mom. I just needed a few minutes of my own thing. Um, and so I thought, well, what can I do here from home? And I thought, well, I think I can write. And so I actually started writing things for adults, things, um, and I was writing my life. So I was writing things for American Baby. I wrote, oh, yes, this is mine. I wrote seven scintillating, I mean, seven strategies for nap time, right? Seven strategies. That's scintillating reading and writing. Um, I wrote stuff for American History Illustrated. I wrote some things for the Chicago Tribune magazine when there still was one. Um, I did not think about writing for children, um, although we were going to the library almost daily, right? I got these bags of books, and this is what was happening at our house. I was. I really think that was sort of my. Um, my apprenticeship, if you will, in children's books, because I probably was reading 50 a day, really, um, because I loved them so much. And I would read to my kids. We'd come home with those big, groaning book bags, and at night we would read the picture books, one after the other after the other. And um, this was what would happen at my house. My, you know, my kids would, I would be going, oh, just one more. And my kids would be going, please, mommy, turn off the light, you know. So um, it, it really was almost a matter of, um, preservation for my son, so I needed to write a few of my own stories, otherwise I might have driven them crazy. So, yeah, I sort of backed into it. I discovered how much I loved them um, pretty late. Yeah, yeah I, th 